In this tutorial, I'll show you how to generate AI images from text for free in CapCut. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, CapCut recently introduced AI generated images and this is how they work. Now, I'm on uh, the default uh, layout of CapCut and from the import section here, you'll see the option AI generated. When I click on that, you'll see, hey, it's time to create materials with prompt. Now. You can describe the sticker you want to generate and you can also kind of see a showcase of some of the AI art and images that have been used uh, in CapCut. When you hover over some of these, you can use the prompt used here if you like them. And they look like some really good images. Now, let me close this. Next up, you'll see the section where you can add your prompt. That is the text prompt to use CapCut's AI to generate your images for you. Now, green background, tea table, two chairs on each side, various plants on the back, like a picture. So, next up, you'll see the option to adjust. And for this, you have the styles, general or anime, and then we have the ratios for one by one, four by three, and so on and so forth. I'm going to choose 16 by nine. This is a landscape kind of view. And then as for the steps here, if you hover over these, Larger value results in generated images being more detailed, but it will take a longer time. Now, I'm going to adjust the slider to the maximum, which is 50, and then click off. And then with this prompt that is pre-populated, that's all I'm going to use. I'll click on generate. Now, you'll need to allow CapCut to store your prompts uh, so that uh, they can actually use them to help their AI learn what people are asking and what type of images are being created. Now I'm actually going to allow it. And you're going to see the time you're creating this. It's 3 a.m. my time and the date. And then you'll see the prompt, green background, tea table, two chairs on each side, various plants on the back like a picture. Now, if I click on one here, you'll see how it looks like. It looks more cartoonish, uh, but looks good. We have the next one. This one does not have chairs. Another one, this one looks a little bit better. Then we also have this one. This one looks like uh, much better. Now, these are AI art images and uh, they look good. Now, to kind of upscale whatever image that you want. And this is more or less like the way you see with Mid Journey or Leonardo uh, AI. Now, let's say we choose this particular one and there are a couple of options. There's feedback, there's HD, there's the option to download, and then the option to apply to a timeline. Let's click on HD. And what HD does is that it upscales our particular image. So this is the image that we've selected to upscale. It's being upscaled. Let us wait and see the results. If I click on it, see this, it's a little bit different. Uh, this one had a better background, in my own opinion. This one, they've actually taken out all that. But uh, but the chairs seem a little bit more uh, better. But let's say we actually go with this. We can click on Add. And it's going to apply. And it's saved to Library AI Materials. Now, it's on the timeline. And one more thing before we go to the timeline is that you can always regenerate or retry the images generated uh, at the start, the four images generated. Now, I'll click on device, and you'll not be able to see your images here, but if you come to stock materials, you'll be able to see all the images that you've actually uh, created. So, here are your images, and these are other images I had created earlier. So, you can always see where they are, and how they look like, and so on and so forth. So, it's really, really awesome. Uh, but let's go with this. So, here we are. We can see our image. It looks good. There's nothing to really complain. It's just an AI generated image. So you can use these as your background for different things. I can actually try and import a video here and just add it here. I can use the remove, the auto removal feature here to remove the background from this. And then I can actually scale this a little bit, maybe somewhere, maybe something like this. 
So it looks something like that. In this tutorial, I'll show you how. So you just created some background using the AI images created in CapCut. Super awesome uh, to see this. I'm sure the AI being used is going to be refined in future to give better images, but you can play around with it and see what you actually make of different prompts that you create and use in CapCut. That's it for this video. And that is how you can generate AI images for free from a text prompt in CapCut. Thanks for watching.